Hey YouTube, it's Damien here, Sleepy Reader, uh, with a video for people who might be interested in reading Commandy digitally. Uh, in case you don't know, you can get the first 20 issues of Commandy via Comixology. And uh, if you have a good way to read digital comics, this is a great, cheap way to try out Commandy. Um, Commandy is a very early 70s Jack Kirby DC comic. Uh, you may have seen a lot of people here in the YouTube community, comic book community uh, talking about their Commandies. Um, I, ha I own a lot of the physical copies, but I still enjoy reading them digitally also. Um, and the cool thing is they are available very cheaply on um, on Comixology. You can get each issue 1 through 20 for a dollar. So if you do have a good way to read digital comics on a tablet or a computer screen that's fairly large, uh, this this is a great way to go, a great way to sample Commandy. You can buy one issue if you spend a whole 99 cents if you like it. You can, you can uh, keep purchasing them up to issue 20. Um, Commandy, Commandy uh, went on for much more than 20 issues, so I'm hoping they'll release the rest of them. The other way to read Commandy, if you don't, you know, read the back issues, is they, at least in the past, they've had some graphic novels, or not, you know, some uh, collected editions, which um, I think cost in the range of 40 or 50 dollars a piece for for 10 issues and and the big flaw with them is they have uh, they have uh, they're printed on very cheap paper despite being these expensive hardbacks and I I think it's paper that will yellow so I would love DC to come out with some editions of Commandy on some really nice paper uh, ideally uh, oversized pages I would definitely pick those up even though I, I own a lot of the hard copy, a lot of the old copies, and I now own these 20 issues digitally. So um, there's sort of a upside and a downside to, to reading stuff like this digitally. The upside is you can zoom in on the art and take a really close look at what Jack Kirby's doing. The downside, there's a, there's a zoom in on the cover of issue one. Um, the downside would be uh, that Jack, that Kirby did a lot of two-page spreads, and these don't look particularly good on a tablet. Um, you can zoom in on parts of them. Uh, if you have like a 27-inch screen on your computer, these will look brilliant. Um, so that's kind of one of the downsides. Um, you know, the upside is is the zooming. And the viewing of individual panels is really great. I mean, because you get to see the panels much bigger than they were in the comic book uh, with the very vivid color you get from a tablet or a computer screen. Um, and it's fun to view all the Kirby action that way. Another, if you, you can read them on your computer, uh, and here's what it looks like on your computer screen. You can go from page to page or you can use this little zoom in box. Uh, but that's, unfortunately, it's not as optimized on the computer as it is on the, on the tablet. So this zoom in box isn't really that large on a large screen computer. Uh, but anyhow, it's still an okay way to read it, and it's only a dollar. Uh, so you could read this on your computer without any. Um, without any, um, without owning a tablet, <clears throat> should you want to. And of course, this has all the downsides of, of digital because, uh, losing track as I try to switch between programs. So anyway, uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. There's my commanding collection on my iPad. Um, the, as, as a lot of you know, Commandy started because, uh, DC told Kirby, why don't you do something like Planet of the Apes? So his first issue kind of is a, a big nod to the Planet of the Apes, 
with the Statue of Liberty there. And of course, it's a world where humans are not intelligent and animals are, uh, but not just apes, all kinds of animals. And Kirby really runs with, with, the, um, with the concept and, and gives us endless variations and cool things about this post-apocalyptic future filled with animal civilizations. Um, and Commandy being, in theory anyway, the last boy on Earth because he was raised inside a bunker called Command D. And he's named after the bunker he was raised in. Um, so in the very first issue, well, let me backtrack. I also want to say that uh, Commandy is kind of, is a kid's comic book. It's definitely a kid's comic book. It's sort of a great boy's adventure science fiction but a really, really great one. And lots of great literature comes out of children's literature or, or uh, young adult literature like Huckleberry Finn and Catcher in the Rye and, uh, you know, Robert Heinlein science fiction novels and, and a bunch of other stuff. And I'd say, you know, this is, in my opinion, one of the great pieces of, of children's literature. And you can enjoy it as an adult. It, you know, it's got this fantastic art and just great science fiction scenario and everything. Um, and the first issue of Commandy introduces tons of elements that continue throughout, from uh, Ben Boxer here and Dr. Canis and the uh, Tiger Empire. So anyway, uh, issue two, it all continues. There's a beautiful uh, two-page spread uh, with the rat foragers close up there. Um, we, we learn in this issue about Ben Boxer's ability to turn into a kind of metal creature, kind of looks like the Silver Surfer. Um, anyhow, it's just an endless parade of cool stuff. <laughs> so you should definitely, if you at all use digital comics, you should definitely, for 99 cents, try out at least one issue. Um, Kirby is so inventive and, uh, this is kind of his late peak. I'm guessing he was in his 50s at the point he was doing this. Um, and he'd already produced, you know, some of the greatest comics of all time. And here he was, you know, going in a whole new science fiction direction. There's a nod out to one of his other comics, The Demon. Um, but the, the image, images here are incredible, especially if, you know, you're a young kid and you were first... Uh, for seeing a lot of these things for the first time. Um, and here's Commandy with someone who becomes his longtime friend, uh, Prince Tufton, I believe is his name. Uh, so there's just so much great stuff in these. Uh, it's worth checking out. Here's issue six. Hmm, I wonder if I've skipped an issue or two. But anyway, this is my favorite cover of all the Commandies, and it shows Commandy and a girl, a human girl, Flower who it turns out can speak just a little bit. Um, and they're tied up and being taken captive by the lions. Uh, it's just such a weird, emotionally evocative picture to me of the, the couple tied up, their eyes closed. I guess they're unconscious or sleeping, uh, driven by moonlight by all these strange lion creatures. There's a little zoom in on them. Um, so, and there's uh, issue seven, a great nod to King Kong. This, in this case, though, the giant ape King Kong can talk. <laughs> and issue eight, with a nod to the past of the United States. It's an old train. Issue nine, um, there's a number of issues where they're flying around in a blimp hanging from a little basket. Ben Boxer and his friends are trying to take Commandy to their home. Uh, I forget what the name of it is, but, oh, the tracking site. <laughs> because they somehow are linked. They're not quite human anymore, but they're somehow linked to astronauts and tracking spaceships. And here's an example of one of uh, Kirby's early innovations of collages combined with comic book art. Would have been great to see what Kirby would have. So he would have had to have slapped this together by hand uh, with scissors and, and glue. 
but it would have been great to see what Kirby could have done uh, with Photoshop, I think. I'm sure he wouldn't have spent much time on it, but he still might have done some interesting things with it. So here we are at tracking site, and we meet the misfit. You may have seen the misfit in, um, in The Brave and the Bold. <laughs> Commandy shows up in The Brave and the Bold a couple of times. So more adventures at the tracking site. There's this mort morticosis, some uh, microscopic creature that's become huge. Just uh, showing you some samples of beautiful Kirby art. Uh, Commandy taken as a slave of animals and humans being traded as slaves by these leopards. And then the introduction of Click Clack, the uh, giant, uh, giant grasshopper that shows up a lot. It always bothered me as a kid that Kirby didn't draw all the legs. And obviously he knew that a that a, uh, a grasshopper had six legs. I, I guess he just chose to simplify things, or to maybe he thought that made it look, that's how this had evolved after the apocalypse. But anyway, this is a great fun character. Here's, a, here's an example. You know, you get a nice close look at all the panels, and you can watch a, uh, a typical Kirby action sequence. Commandy's a pretty tough brawler for a kid. Um, kind of the kid we, as us boys anyway, all would have liked to have been tough and unafraid of a fight at any time, always ready to leap into action. So, um, 17 more adventures uh, as a slave goes on for a couple of issues with Click Clack. And then the Watergate secrets. In the 70s, everyone was obsessed with Watergate. Um, now it's hard, well, it's hard for me anyway to care that much about it. But at the time, it traumatized the nation. So Kirby even stuck that in here. Watergate secrets. And here's the uh, Watergate sound maker, some kind of weapon these gorillas are using. Commandy number 16. Uh, where we're in some kind of lab where some animals are experimenting on humans. And then we meet mole creatures and the giant underground eater. I always thought that was a, a very cool cover too. And there's a cool splash page. I zoomed in on it a bit. Uh, number 19 where Commandy finds himself in Mobland, Chicago, or is, is it really? Are these, is there still hu a human mob in Chicago, I wonder? The last gang in Chicago. And then the last issue that's available digitally, it's not at all the last issue that uh, Kirby did. I think he, uh, he continued on until somewhere in the 30s of Commandy, and then Commandy continued on for quite a while afterwards with other artists and writers working on it. But this kind of looks like a final issue, the way it's drawn. Um, so, <clears throat> and there's the, the last page of that issue. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, those of you who don't hate digital comics may have made it all the way through, and I, I recommend checking out Commandy on Comicsology. Um, and I will talk to you all again soon.